Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 22 to 26. Hey, in trick 23, we're going to see how to add a column of time. This is a nightmare for lots of people in Excel. How do you add up time? We're going to look at two methods formula and formatting method. <clears throat> now first, what is time? I'm going to highlight this whole column and in the light cell at the top I'm going to say equals one cell to my left. It's a relative cell reference so when I control enter it populates all those cells. Click on the last cell and I can see sure enough that worked. Now, this has got a bunch of time formatting. That formula sucked the formatting from that time there. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to control one and convert it to general. I'm going to click cancel because there's a keyboard shortcut for general format. It's control shift tilde. The tilde key is to the left of the number one. Control shift tilde. Oh, no way. Now we can see. Not only that, we can click here. These are actually times. You can see up here if I control shift tilde, you can see Excel does not put a time. I'm going to control Z. It doesn't put the time like 8 AM into the cell. It puts the proportion of one 24-hour day. Now, if you don't know that, that this is formatting and that there's a number under there that represents the proportion of a 24-hour day. If you don't know that, you can't do time math. Let's scroll over and do some time math. But we're going to do uh, calculate some times from a time out and a time in. We're going to do it once with a formula, which will calculate it in hours. Then we're going to do a formula and format it with custom number formatting. I'm going to highlight this whole range and in the cell at the top, I'm going to say equals, open parentheses, and the way time math works is you always take the later time minus the earlier time. I have to close that in parentheses because I want to do minus before multiplication. Now the way this works, the reason why you have to do later time is because this, the number under here is further through a day. So it'll be a larger proportion of one 24-hour day. This is an earlier time, so it's a smaller proportion of a 24-hour day. So when you take the later minus the earlier, it'll give you the proportion of the day that you worked. Now to get hours, you have to multiply by 24. And by the way, it's OK to type that number into a format because the hours in a day aren't going to change anytime soon. Control, Enter. And there it is. We have in hours how long we worked each day. That 0.16 is not 16 minutes, it's 0.16 of one hour. Now, when you do it with, when you calculate time in hours using this formula, it's easy to add. You just click in this cell and Alt equals, that's the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, Alt equals, and then Enter. 37.3. 3-1 hours is what we worked. And if you were multiplying it by some wage, that would be the right number. Now, let's see how to do this with formatting. I'm going to do my formula. I've highlighted the cells. And in the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to say equal later time minus earlier time. And then I'm going to control enter. Hey, wait a second. What is that? That's a bunch of junk. That doesn't tell me what I want. We're going to have to use custom number format because the proportion of one day, if I control shift tilde, I can see that that's the proportion of one day that I've worked. I'm going to control Z. And if you don't custom format it, it's always going to show you AM. So I'm going to control 1, go down to custom and the custom number format, click in the type box. It'll be hour colon minute minute. And that'll show me without the AM, PM stuff, like you can see an example here. None of the AM, PM, just the time we worked. Now, how do we add this up? We click in the cell down here, Alt equals. Alt equals Control Enter. What in the world is that? 13, that looks like 118. Hey, I'm going to Control Shift tilde. Uh-oh, now we see the problem. When we do time and use the sum function to add, remember underneath are all these proportions of one 24-hour day. So when you add it, it's adding the numbers underneath. Remember, formulas never look at formatting. However, there is a custom number format that will allow us to show the 37 and hours and whatever minutes. Control-1 down to custom. And the trick here is you got to put square bracket HH 
square bracket. You can immediately see that that's a formatting trick to show 37. Now, we're going to see 37 in a moment in the cell, but no matter how you slice it, 1.55, which means 1.55 days, that's the total we've worked. That's always going to be in that cell, no matter how much custom formatting you use. Colon mm. So there it is, 37 hours and 18 minutes. Click OK. That's how to use um, a custom number format. There's still a problem here, two problems. One is this is actually 18.6 minutes, and this format is not going to show us 18.6 minutes. And second, if you're trying to multiply that by something, it's always going to look at that 1.5. So that's why if you're going to do time math, oftentimes it's better to use a formula and calculate hours or minutes or whatever you want. All right, we'll see you next Excel YouTuber trick.